So uh, every week I try to come up with a technological tool or a, a pedagogical approach that's tech related because as a VC consultant, that's my mandate to help you guys integrate technology in your in your lessons. And uh, what I came up, I, I think I came up with something that's pretty close to what we were discussing before uh, this week. Um, the suggestion, uh, Robin said show earlier, teach almost, you almost said teach. I don't want to do that. I want to <laughs> make suggestions so, to create a collaborative scrapbook about an issue that needs to be uh, discussed. I think that implicating the students in in the process of expressing the different ideas and making them look, uh, go it's going to bring them deeper into the understanding. We, we talked a lot about how difficult it is to make them realize the reality of things. So simple variation on a common pedagogical formula, call it the debate, a forum, a panel, a general assembly, or you can tweak it to, to match the context, but you present conflicting points of view. For example, the one, the point of view of the union, the, the union, the employer, the conciliator that just been named by the government to try to resolve, and the taxpayer maybe could be involved in this. And then students make research, and my my I, specific idea for this week is that instead of making them prepare a presentation or an oral thing, like they would research images that express their vision of what the concepts are, and they would put that in a collaborative document, being a, a padlet, a mind map, a whiteboard, a slideshow, or whatever, and then the presentation to the group is based on those images that everybody needs to be contributing about. It's not revolutionary, but it's a good uh, uh, format to uh, present different uh, conflict resolution approach, bring in some idea, uh, notion of copyright ownership of images as well, show them where to search and stuff like that. So that's my suggestion for the week. Yeah. And I'm going to put in the chat the links to the CVT uh, website and newsletter. If you guys need to get in touch with us, I'm going to say us because we're a team, but we're a team of two. James Byrne is in Sherbrooke. I'm talking to you guys from uh, Montreal, but we're here to help you if you need to request our services.